our objective today is to learn that I can measure and record lengths to the nearest inch and half inch using a ruler. First, we're going to measure to the nearest inch. So I'm going to take my ruler, and I can see that my ruler has two sides. One side is inches, and one side is centimeters. I know which is which because the inches are larger, one inch is larger than one centimeter. So since I'm, or I'm measuring to the nearest inch, I need to take my ruler, and I need to start it where I put the bottom of the ruler where the one is with the thing I want to measure. So I'm going to put, measure it here, so I line it up, okay? So there it is. And now what I want to do is I want to see where the line of the ruler matches up with the top of this water bottle. There we go. So I can see that the, that the water bottle isn't exactly 9 inches. But I know, since I'm rounding to the nearest inch, I'm going to say that the water bottle is 9 inches tall. And I know this because the top of the water bottle is closer to, is closer to the 9 than the 8. Now I'm going to show you how to measure to the nearest half inch. Okay, the difference is before we were seeing which whole number it was closer to. For example, is it closer to the 4 or the 5? But this time we want to see if which how many halves it's closer to. So is it half an inch, one whole inch, one half an inch, two whole inches? So I'm going to show you how I would measure this cell phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler the same way I did last time and line it up with the object that I'm measuring. Then I'm going to see where it lines up with, what it lines up with. Okay, so now when I look at that, I can see that the middle line, or the pink line there, is closer to the half here than it is to the five or the four. So that would tell me, since, since it's four, but not quite five yet, that would tell me that this object is 4.5 inches. Oops, inches. Or four and a half inches. It's the same thing. Now we're going to measure this picture frame to the nearest half inch. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line up my ruler with the picture frame. Then I'm going to draw a line or line up the top of my picture frame with the ruler. Okay. And so now I see where it is. This time I see that the line is really far away from the six down here. So I need to decide, is it closer to six and a half or seven? So I look at the little lines on my ruler, or I use my eyes, and I can see that the line is much closer to the 7 right here than it is to this half line right here. So that means if I'm rounding to the nearest half inch, that this picture frame is 7 and a half inches tall. As you saw, the most important tool that you need for measuring is a ruler. When you measure, make sure that you start with the side with the one on it. Don't start from the bigger end. Start from the smaller end, from the beginning. And make sure that you line up the bottom of your object with where the ruler line starts right here. It's not always on the bottom of your ruler. Sometimes there's a little bit of space between the zero and the beginning of the ruler. So look, for, look at that carefully when you're measuring. Now you know how to measure and record lengths to the nearest inch and half, half inch, so you've successfully met our objective.